Hey YouTube, I'm back. It's Michaela again, and I figured what better day to do a treatments video and a medicine video except for the day that I'm off. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to basically start by how my day goes and then just run through it that way. Um, in the morning, I have to get up and immediately before I do anything else, I do my vest. And my vest is this machine right here. This machine right here, it's got these tubes that come out of it, and this is the vest that I wear. Um, I'll show it to you. Well, I guess I'll show it to you now. Um, I have this vest camo, thanks to my lovely daddy. Um, and I put it on. And I buckle these things in. And then I take these tubes right here and I attach them to the best in these little slots. Pillow's attacking me. Um, and then I basically turn it on. So it's going to fill up with air automatically before I push the button for it to start shaking me. And then it shakes me and it shakes the mucus off the walls of my lungs so I can cough it out. Now for some CFers, this is a very productive treatment. For me, I barely cough at all. So either I don't have that much mucus in my lungs or it just doesn't want to move. So I'll turn it on and I have a special program. It, I can program my machine and I do 30 minutes, 10 minutes at one setting, 10 minutes at another setting, and a final 10 minutes at a third setting. And you can adjust the pressure and stuff to whatever you're most comfortable with. I have found that I can use the top pressure and still be all right. But my numbers are 8, 10, and 12. So I could probably finick around with it. I did try 6, 8, and 10 before I got to this setting. And it was really comfortable. But then I realized after I did this setting more, it, was, it became just as comfortable and it was more productive. So yeah, so I'm gonna turn it on and it's gonna fill up with air. It's not very loud, so I guess some people's are really loud and mine just really isn't. So it filled up with air, as you can see, and I wear a child's large in this vest. Um, I tried the adult small, but it wasn't hugging me tight enough to do anything, so I was like, this is pointless. So I got a smaller size and now it is much tighter and it really hugs me when I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on and you're probably gonna laugh at me because my voice sounds hilarious, but I'm pretty used to it now. So it's on now and since I don't do such a high setting at first, it's amping up. Um, it's not so bad to talk with, but the faster it gets, the more funny I sound. So yeah, but basically I just keep this on and it shakes me and it's supposed to help loosen the mucus in my lungs. So I have to do this for 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night. I'm gonna shut it off now. Um, so yeah, so when I'm doing this, I have to do nebs and I'm on one neb with every treatment and then one neb in the evening after the first one and my first neb is albuterol which I also have one second I gotta get this thing on I don't want to wear it the whole time that would just be no fun um I have one neb that is albuterol and this is what I take um with my vest treatment twice a day uh if I increase my vest treatment, I increase the amount of times I take this. I could take it in a puffer, but I feel it's more productive to take it as a nebulizer. And it really just makes me, I'm more comfortable with it. I don't know why. Um, and then in the evening, I have to take Palmazyme, which comes after my albuterol because my albuterol opens up my lungs and then this medication goes in and treats. So it has to be open so we can treat. 
And they really say you're not supposed to do these while you're doing your vest, but I don't have time to not do them while I'm doing my vest because I just, I don't have time to do all that. So I normally do them while I'm doing the vest. Sometimes my palmazyme will take a little longer, so I have to keep it on until it's finished at night. And sometimes I've even fallen asleep doing it. I, that's happened to me a lot, actually. It's very calming. But anyway, there's also a third nebulizer that I take every other month. It's called Kasten. I take it in this. And it's a two-minute, um, like, it's another treating one that I take. And I have to mix it up myself. It comes in a little vial with little saline packets that I just squirt in and mix it up and then pour it in here. Hook it up to my little machine, and then I'm done in two minutes. The um, nebulizer that these two go in are, well, is somewhere around here. Uh-oh, it's, it's stuck. Just bear with me. Okay, it's right here. <laughs> this is a peri neb, and I use it with my palmazyme and my albuterol. So I'm actually supposed to wash these after I use them with hot soapy water, and then I'm supposed to sterilize them once a day, but I'm not in the really good habit of doing that, so I really need to get into it. Um, okay, so next, after I do that, I'll get up, shower, whatnot, and then I'll eat breakfast. And with my breakfast, I have to take Creon, and yeah, Creon. And what Creon is, is it is an enzyme that helps me digest my food because my body doesn't produce the enzymes that your body does to absorb nutrients and gain weight. So this is what they look like. They're a little brown pill with little beads on the inside. And as a baby, you have to like open these up and put the beads in applesauce. They burn if you if they touch your mouth. So you have to make sure you don't touch them. But um, I take I was just increased to a higher dosage, so I take less pills now, which is fantastic. So I take two to three with meals and one to two with snacks, depending on how big they are. So if it's bigger, I take more. If it's smaller, I take less. After I eat, I then move on to my pills, and I have to do it in this way because if I take my pills on an empty stomach, I will throw up. And then it's completely pointless, and I don't have any of my pills. So I have this planner. I'm holding this one because it's broken that my daddy gave to me so it's a it's actually for like a four time a day pill but i use it for two weeks so it's nice um, and i'm sorry about how long this video is it's just i do a lot of stuff so um let's see in the morning i take prevacid which is for my uh acid reflux so there's that um i also take two arthritis pills, Plaquenil, for my cystic fibrosis related arthritis. Um, I take another arth arthritis pill called Voltaren for my cystic fibrosis related arthritis. Um, I take a big pill called Neurotin and that's also for my cystic fibrosis related arthritis. Um, it's more of a pain pill. It helps control the pain that I'm in. I'm supposed to take this three times a day and I barely ever do because I really just forget. So I really need to get in the habit of taking it three times a day. Um, then I have to take Zyvox and I have something growing in my lungs called a non-tuberculosis mycobacteria and I am on two different meds for that. One I'm currently out of but I'm on this and calithromycin for that, so it helps to treat that what that's growing in my lungs. And it's actually creating nodules in my lungs that we have to treat, but it, they have been shrinking. Oops, I dropped it. Um, and then there's supplements that I have to take. Oh, one more before that. Uh, Raglan, and that is for my um, acid reflux as well because it has gotten exponentially worse since my Nissen came undone. So I'm trying really hard to find a doctor that'll redo it as an adult so I don't have this acid reflux anymore because it's causing me lots of trouble. Um, oh yeah, and I take um, a steroid, um, prednisone, for my arthritis as well. And it also helps with my asthma. But I don't take very much of it because you're not supposed to really be on them long term. I'm not sure why, but I don't really know if I want to know because I've been on this pill for a long time. So, who cares? 
Um, next are my supplements that I have to take because I'm very deficient because we are have malabsorption. Um, here is a iron pill because I am anemic and I have to take iron just like everybody else who's anemic. I just have to take iron just like everybody else. Um, I have to take... I take this one I take for my own good. My hair suffers a lot because of all the medications I'm on. So I take a biotin every day if I can get it out of this pill blender. Take a little biotin. Oh wait, that's not biotin. This is vitamin D. I'm vitamin D deficient. Um, I have osteopenia, which is a, the beginning of osteoporosis. And remember, I'm 18 years old. So my vitamin D is really, really, really low. I'm also out of another pill called Oscal, and that's for my bones as well because they're so brittle. Um, and then I'm on the folic acid, which also helps with my hair, but it's also for my anemia. So there's that one, and I'm finally down to the biotin, and it doesn't want to come out. There we go. There's a little biotin. Um, so those are my morning meds that I'm on. Now in the evening, I take a lot of the same stuff, but some I just take at night. So let's get all these out. Okay, at night I take um, Voltaren again. I take Reglan again. I take Zyvox again and Colithromycin if I had it. Um, Neurotin again. I take another pill just for my health, that is, um, it's actually apple cider vinegar in a pill, and apple cider vinegar is really good for a lot of things in your body, so I take this, um, and then I take Zizol, which is for my allergies, because I have really bad allergies. I also take Singular, but I'm out of it as well, and then I take Benadryl, because I, because of my CF, I don't sleep well. I cough a lot. And it's really hard to sleep through something like that. So the Benadryl just helps to make me stay asleep, I guess. And it helps with my um, nausea that I get. It really helps for the rest of that, too. So those are my pills, and that was my treatments. Um, and, yeah, I think that's it. I'm also supposed to exercise regularly for treatment because it helps with the lungs and my muscles and just to stay active really helps. But I don't exercise like I should. I do watch two toddlers, so that is enough exercise for me. I think that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, yeah, I think that's all I take and all I do. So yeah, I take NEBS, my treatment, my vest treatment twice a day, my pills twice a day, my Creon every time I eat, um, my one nub that I take every other month, and I think that's it. I, I don't think I'm missing anything. But yeah, so that's my day. So, yeah, those are my treatments for the day. So that's what my life looks like. And next time I will talk about my cystic fibrosis arthritis and how I found it and how big of a hassle that one really was. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. That's my phone. I'll talk to you later, guys. Breathe easy.